Good morning, everybody. Today we are here in the farm country out here in Mecca, California, uh, which is south of Indio. It is currently uh, 8.57, January 10th. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and load up a 8430T uh, John Deere tractor. Uh, it's got, I guess it kicked out two of the like idler wheels. Um, so those are laying on the ground. We're gonna have to take those with us. Um, but the unit still runs and can be driven up on the deck. So let's go ahead and uh, get that, get it all loaded up and uh, take it back to the dealer. Take our ring of keys. Actually we do, because we need to get those parts. Let's take these. All right, so I went back and actually got a strap for all this stuff here so it doesn't come flying off. Strap down. Um, let's see here. There we go, that's better. Okay, so we'll do it like that. gonna go around and loop this like so through Thank you. 
our gloves down there. Okay, let's hop in. Keys right here. Owner said he already had this running for us, so we'll just let it do this. Start her up, clutch in, go out of park and into forward. So basically you just drive this like a car, except it's almost uh, like, like right now it's turning right. And then if I let it go straight, it'll go straight. And if I go left, it'll turn left. So it's, it's since it's on tracks, you're able to pivot. Um, so in that sense, it's not like a car, but um, I guess if you're used to machinery, it's pretty much like a, uh, like a um, scraper. Cause a scraper is a, uh, the steering wheel goes straight if you're straight, and then as soon as you put input, it starts cranking over. All right, so John Deere's, I like John Deere's because they have a little point right in the center of the hood. And on the Landall beds, you're able to load, pretty much load that up dead center with the, uh, the center rail there, and uh, you're able to track that all the way up. Additionally, the uh, visibility on these are pretty awesome. Um, you're able to just look down at the tracks. Um, let's see. I'm actually gonna cycle through these. Um, yeah. Okay, that's what I want, I think. Uh, I wanted to see gears, but I think we're in low, low. Yeah, there we go. Now we're in crawling mode. Okay, so uh, I'm tracking the center right now, and now I can look down here at the tracks, and I can notice that uh, we, we're about on top of the second board in there, and then over here, we're pretty much the same spot. So, can actually come left just a touch. Second board, second board, go left just a touch. Left again. Pretty much just hold this right here. Another way to do it is I'm looking here on the, uh, basically the hood and it's lined up with the steel uh, center beam and then over here, Again, lined up pretty much the same spot so you kind of reference each side and fill the gap in on the other side essentially is what I'm doing here um, okay, I don't really remember where that counterweight is Let's see if this doesn't go in park or the brake doesn't work very well so there we go okay I gotta really hold on the brake to get it to hold Okay, so we should be in park, we'll let the clutch out, we'll let the brake slowly out, it's holding, that's good, and we'll turn it off. Alright, so, we've got some overhang, so we'll have to do our signs and whatnot. Chain her down.
Okay, so we'll use this 20 foot chain right here. We'll go through this eyelet and pull it like that. And we'll use that leg over there. here go right around this big old hitch here a lot of times in equipment hauling you have to kind of figure out and think you know if this is strong enough, if this is strong enough to for example in this case pull a 50 60 thousand pound uh, planter through the through the mud and stuff then it's a good restraint because a lot of stuff is they make it so heavy duty that it doesn't even have chain like dedicated chain down points it just uh, uh you know on this one part of the reason why i like this this uh center rail the three axle is the only one that has this chained center rail it's nice for that. I'm able to do this. tilting up and running the axles back at the same time.
came up pretty quick because there's a lot of weight up here on the front already. gotta do put these keys away we'll put the truck on low idle and uh, now we gotta do flags so I'm probably not gonna show you the flags but um, after I do this we'll do uh, we'll do a driving segment so let me go ahead and flag it do all that and we'll uh, We'll do some driving footage. Don't worry, I got the remote. All right, everyone, we got our oversized sign on the front, four flags all the way around, and the oversized in the rear. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're gonna get going here. Um, so we got like about a mile of dirt road before we get back onto hard paved road. Um, so we'll just kind of have to take it slow and get over there and then uh, from, once we do that then we can uh, pick up the pace a little bit but I'll probably just show you guys me getting back out on the road and then from there we're gonna get on the expressway and it's pretty much straight shot uh, back to RDO from there coffee cup called the ember and it uh it's like a temperature controlled coffee mug it's pretty sweet so for example i poured my coffee at eight o'clock this morning and it is still 130 degrees at 9 40. pretty cool
rough road. It gets smoother up here. Right here is pretty rough. It's gonna change 
red and we should be good to go. When you become a uh, truck driver, you always, you're always looking at the lights if you can, because that'll give you an idea of if you can kind of creep or if you should start, uh, like if you're on a hill, you can start letting off the brake and uh, start giving clutch so you don't roll away. Um, Cause you know that your light's probably gonna turn green here any second. Just little things that help you out in the long run. So like right here, we have a pretty decently busy road and uh, I'm pretty much straddling the white line with my passenger side, uh, especially when I see oncoming traffic. Um, so that way that my uh, overhang isn't into their lane of traffic. And I'm looking far ahead, making sure there's no obstacles coming up. Um, if there was an obstacle coming up and I see a car coming at me as well, uh, I'll slow down to time it so that that car passes before I get to the obstacle. That way I can move uh, over to avoid it. Um, things like that. shot and then we got a left turn onto the expressway so it'll be pretty boring in my opinion uh, so with that being said I'm gonna end the video here hopefully you enjoyed the video as always like comment subscribe thank you for watching let me know in the comments what you thought about the video we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching guys